making their way to the drop that will take them down to the pool at the bottom of the steep hill on the first lap. I was careless. I used to walk like I was invincible. I never second guessed what was ahead of me. And now I'm running. And the very thing I was running from has taken away from me what has meant the most. I never paid attention to detail. How was her hair done? What was she wearing? Now it's all I can think of. It's all I can see. In a world that was dark enough to begin with, something came to show us what we had thought was a myth, was our immediate reality. And now I'm alone. I am nothing. I have nothing. So what did the letter say? Thanks. Personal thanks. He knew uh, where I vacationed, my flight schedule. Places I go on Friday nights, I want to find restaurants. Things in my house, my room. You have no idea what happens to these women after being stalked. I had to pick up and leave my house that I lived in for 10 years because of some sick asshole. I'm afraid to leave my home. You sat in those meetings, and you listened to those ladies tell their stories, and you got mad, didn't you? Yeah, you got mad. Not only did you get mad at what they were telling you, you also got mad because of what you were going through. You got mad, and you took matters into your own hands, didn't you? Didn't you? Those assholes deserve what they got. The hunted becomes the hunter. The prey becomes the predator. The pain you feel when your husband files for a divorce because he believes that your stalker is your lover. No one deserves that. Hanging